The secret sauce of a successful large language model is its dataset. The more quality oriented the dataset will be, the more powerful and performant the model will be. If your dataset is not good enough, then forget about any successful AI application, no matter which model or which GPU you are using. That is why whenever I stumble upon a tool which promises to create a quality data set out of raw data, I always try to check that out. In this video, we are going to check yet another tool for data set creation called as ebook to chat ML conversion. There are two unique things about this new tool. First and foremost, it uses local models, the Cobalt CPP based ones, plus it converts the ebooks in EPUB or text format into ChatML dataset. ChatML is simply a dataset, uh, a prompt format where you start a message and you end a message and I will show you it shortly. In order to better understand it, let me show you an example as how exactly this tool works. So let's suppose you gave it an ebook in text format or EPUB format. It chunks it, which means that it divides it into different formats and then it creates two files. First is chatml.txt, which is uh, it looks like something like this, where the sentence starts with I am start and then character name, and then it ends it with it when the end comes. Similarly, for the text format, it just goes with this, where the, we have narrator, we have different characters talking. So the way it works is that you provide it a local model local model goes through your ebook then it pulls out the character masks them and then it creates you this sort of chat ml data set which you can use with various models in different ways sky has a limit there so in this video we are going to install this tool locally and then we will play around with it before i do that let me give a huge shout out to mass compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and also a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So do check them out. Okay, so that said and done. One of the prerequisites for this tool to run is that you should already have Cobalt CPP installed. If you don't know what Cobalt CPP, it is a very easy to use text generation software for GTUF based models. You can install it locally with a single file and then use it. Still, if you are uh, don't know how to do that, I have done a couple of videos for Cobalt CPP to be installed on Windows and Linux. So in this Linux one, the second one I just did today. So do check it out. Whatever your operating system is, Windows, Linux, wherever you want to run it, you can follow either one of those videos and then get it installed. I already have it installed on this system. So I'm just going to start it. So in order to start it, all you need to do is to run this command and maybe I will also give it GPU layers here to speed it up. So I'm just calling this Cobalt CPP with 50 layers to be offloaded to my GPU, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy mass compute. So let's wait for it to get started. It is going to start that and this is asking me to load my model. I already have downloaded a model, which is Mistral. And I will also quickly show you shortly. And it is, it is present on my local disk here. It's a bit hard to find it. This is the one. So let me open it. And then it is going to start it on my local host at port 5001. Quick, let me quickly open it here and show you. So this is port 5001 and this is my Mistral running all locally in my Cobalt CPP. You can chat with it. You can ask it anything and it will all be running locally. So you see, so it is running here. And this is the model from Hugging Face, which I have downloaded already. In order to download this model, all you need to do is to just go to Hugging Face, cart, click on files, and then select your cart, maybe whatever you like, and then just download it from here. Okay, so I already have it. We already have loaded it. So let's now go to my terminal and then we will get this thing installed and then we will see how to configure it and how to run it. 
So this is my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04. Let me clear the screen and then uh, let me also show you my NVIDIA card which is NVIDIA RTX 6000. Let me clear the screen here and now let's do create a Conda environment where I will be keeping everything separate from a local system. Let's wait for it to get created. Shouldn't take too long. And that is already done. And if you don't know how to install Conda, please check my channel for the video. It is not a mandatory step, but I always recommend it. Okay, now let's get clone the repo of this tool, ebook to chat ML, and I will drop the link to it in video description too. And that is done. Let's go into this tool. Okay, so let's clear the screen. Let's see the contents. The most important um, file here is config.yaml. So if I show you that, this is where you can set up a lot of uh, configuration for it. For example, the way this tool works is that you provide it your ebook. It divides it into smaller portions or chunks. And this is where you can specify the chunk. For example, here the size is 20. This is a paragraphs per chunk. Then it should be multiple of five. And then you can uh, specify your context length and all that stuff. If you want to specify your own character, you can do that. And for entity detection within uh, your textbook, it uses this model. You can replace it any with any other model from Hugging Face. But I would suggest you just keep it. It is quite a small, good, nice model. And this is where you specify your cobalt. So you see that it is already running. Now, one interesting thing is that if you still want to speed up this process with Gemini model, which is Google's model, you can set this to true. You can grab your API key from Google and set it here. And that is a free key you can get from Google with some credits from Google's AI Studio. And you can simply just Google the Google AI Studio and you can sign up with your email account for free account and get your API key. And that really makes a difference, by the way. Anyway, so I'm not changing anything here. So I'm just going to keep it as is. Now we have git clone the repo vr cd to it. Let's also install all the requirements. So I'm just going to use pip install requirements.txt. It is going to install all the prerequisites here in our Conda environment. Let's wait for it to get finished. It just takes around 30 to 40 seconds. All the prerequisites are done. Let me clear the screen. Now, next step, let's create a directory called as ebooks. Make sure that that is the directory name. And then let me copy a small text file, which I'm just creating at, as a short story, short book from my local system. And then I'm just going to call it the lost city. And I'm just going to Put it in the ebooks directory and let's go to ebooks let's quickly check if it is there yes and let me show you what it looks like it's a simple two paragraph short story which i have just created from chat gpt to get it um, as a sample file you can just use your own ebook if you like okay so i have come back to the root directory let me clear the screen and now in order to run it all you need to do is to use this command index.py and it is going to first download the flare model the english one and then it is going to download its tokenizer and then it is going to start chunking it and converting it into chatml format so let me run it and you see that now it is downloading that model that is all done it is downloading the tokenizer that is also done and now it will start chunking if everything is all right. Let's wait for it to come back. It is all using local model. So you see it is just converting the chunks. And that took a bit of a time and now it has created two formats as we saw earlier. One is chat ML and the other one is this one. So let's go to this output directory. And then we will check it out if I do ls ltr here and let me clear the screen. So let's check the chat ml one first. And there you go, you see. So 
this is I am start narrator and then Dr. Maria is a character, Jake is a character, they are, they are doing the dialogue with each other, very nice. And then toward it is I am and just in the chat ML format. Let's clear the screen and then let's check out the text file, which should be narrator in that format. There you go. So this is a, we are na narrating it. Then there are a few characters. This is a Dr. Maria. This is Jake and then uh, Jake is talking there. So this is how you can simply uh, create a data set for role play and story writing and maybe something character oriented and you can obviously change it and look here your innovation and your thought process comes into play you can just visualize uh, this tool for any sort of data set creation where you have multiple characters or multiple entities and that is where i see its role and i think as far as that is concerned just by using free tools free models locally you can convert any book into these sort of chat ml data set or even text data set and then you can use it to fine tune or train a model so just for for example let's say we want to fine tune a model on the book of in the tone of let's say shakespeare so you would pick up a shakespeare's book then you will convert that shakespeare's book into a chat ml format like this or maybe text format and then you will fine tune that a model any model new model on that data set and it will just write like or talk like shakespeare so that could be a use case anyway sky is the limit there so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this tool i am going to drop the link to it in video description let me know how you go if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching